644, the geeks are back. We got them both here. That's uh, Bert Lam, Ian Kitajima, and uh, joining us remotely. Let's go ahead and talk about iPhone 12. Bert, I think that's you, right? Yeah, you know, so uh, yesterday Apple had their big, <clears throat> long-awaited uh, announcement. Everybody's been waiting for the iPhone 12. I mean, it was kind of, uh, it, you know, in the media already, so people were expecting this. But, uh, you know, to actually see the four... Uh, main models, right? I mean, and it's rare that Apple would announce four of them all in a row, but they had the iPhone 12, you got the iPhone 12 mini, you got the 12 Pro and the Pro Max. Oh. And, you know, what's uh, really kind of cool about these phones is that they are now toting 5G. And, of course, you know, 5G is something that everybody's been waiting for. We've all heard about it. And, and to have, you know, Apple actually come out with their phones equipped for 5G, I think that was a big deal. Okay, but yeah, do we have 5G, Bert, in Hawaii? Well, you know, <laughs> Billy, that's a great question. And so what's happened is that uh, all the carriers are in various phases of rolling out 5G. And, and what, um, you know, 5G has uh, sort of a low band, mid band, and high band. And each of the carriers have different strategies. So you'll see small pockets of uh, 5G, like in Kailua, uh, and I think that's prim primarily uh, T-Mobile. But if you're looking for Verizon, and Verizon was, you know, prominently featured, they're talking about the ultra wideband, and you're not going to see that for a little while. I mean, it's going to be in the major, major cities. You know, they they t talk about it being in stadiums and low latency, and and uh, able to use uh, you know your phone for. Uh, gaming, uh, but uh, that might not be for a little while. Bird, thumbs up, thumbs down. What do you think? Just five seconds. Well, you know, I was all ready to go and get it because I'm I'm excited about the five G. But you know, I'm I would probably wait till there's more five G deployment before actually investing. Probably got well well into a thousand dollars for another phone. All right, let's get over to Ian real quickly here. Uh, uh, Amazon Prime Day we're talking about, right? Yes, so $10 billion over the next two days. Today's the last day for Prime Day. Um, thing I want to t tell you about is something called Halo Health. It's actually something very, very new by Amazon. You can't even get it yet. You have to get early access for it. It's basically like a Fitbit on steroids. So you can, it measures everything from sound to your movements, to sleep, your activities, all of that. But what's really interesting is the sound feature. So it actually analyzes the tone of your voice. And, and kind of gives you analysis if you're like depressed, you're you know, positive, you're negative, you're angry, you're mad. Uh, really pretty amazing. It's it's if you can get access to it, it's sixty five dollars. Includes six months of service, and after that, it's about four dollars a month. It's pretty amazing. Uh, you wear it, you can swim with it. It's five days of battery life. Uh, pretty amazing stuff. So check it out. All Amazon right. Prime Day. Check Got it. it. Thank you, um, Bert. Real quickly, fifteen seconds. Bite Marks Cafe. Go. Okay, well, we got, uh, we're going to be talking about remote work, something called the Temporary Resident Concept. That's on HBR1 at 6.30 tonight. Tune All in. right. Once again, the geeks, and we'll take a break. We'll be right back. They're dancing. You're watching Sunrise.